Hello everyone, my name is Tim Stoddart. Thank you for watching this week's video. Today's video is gonna be a little different. Uh, this is the start of a new series I'm doing about SEO. And as I continue to SEO my website at copyblogger.com, I'm gonna be recording a lot of the journey and documenting it and publishing it onto my YouTube channel so you guys can see firsthand the steps that I am taking to increase the traffic to copyblogger.com specifically through SEO. So today we are going to start with zombie pages. Zombie pages are website or are web pages on your website that get no traffic. And you wouldn't think that is a big deal, but it actually is because when you have pages that that get no traffic, they're essentially stealing uh, authority and they're stealing your bandwidth for some of your other pages that may be getting traffic and maybe floating around position six or seven. And so you could focus those resources onto the pages that really matter so that the, the pages that matter funnel all of the traffic to your email list and then you can increase your sales and you can increase your conversion rates. So, so how do we get rid of zombie pages? There's two steps. We need to know how to find them and then we need to know what to do to delete them because you don't wanna just delete them. So, um, so, so let's dig in. The first step is to use Ahrefs. This is the tool that I like to use. Some people like to use SEMrush or some people like to use Ubersuggest. I find Ahrefs to be uh, the easiest and also the most comprehensive. So the, the first step is simply, you know, we'll even just start from the beginning. The first step is just to log into Ahrefs, go to your dashboard, and then search for your domain. After you do that, what you want to do is click on this link right here. If you can follow my mouse on the left-hand side, click on Top Pages. I'll even refresh it so you get it from the very beginning. Okay, so when you get to Top Pages, what it's going to look like is actually this. It's, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's going to show you the pages that generate the most traffic for your website in order from most to least but that doesn't necessarily help us we want to find the pages that don't generate any traffic so once you search for your domain and you click on top pages this is what it's going to look like but you want to click this little arrow button and when you click this arrow button you, sometimes you have to click it twice sometimes you just have to click traffic and then this arrow button pops up and then you click it again so that the arrow is pointing up and so now you can see we have a ton of pages that are getting no traffic this is this is very common Almost every website, especially websites that are very big, the majority of them, like more than 50% of them, aren't going to get any traffic. And so I've, over the last two and a half years of, uh, as I've been building this, my focus has been on building the product and monetizing the newsletter. So I just haven't necessarily had time to focus on this. But ideally, you would continuously trim your zombie pages as you create more and more content. You don't want it to get to the point where you have 2000 plus pages that don't generate any traffic. So now over the course of the next year, I'm gonna be slowly deleting these pages and redirecting them. So let's take a look at exactly how to find out what steps to take. So I'm gonna start with this page right here, copyblogger.com nonverbal hacks. So this is the page. Um, this page was written in 2014 and it's essentially about ways to communicate information to your audience without necessarily speaking to them, uh, with, with giving nonverbal first impressions and with understanding some of the things that happen between you and your reader that don't necessarily have to do with the content that they're reading. So it's, it's a really good piece of content, but it doesn't serve me. Because nobody is going to be searching for this keyword and then saying, you know what, I want to be a part of the academy or I want to hire them to do my SEO. Um, so I, I have identified that this is a page I want to delete. But now what do I want to do? Well, you, you want to read it to get an idea about what the, what the page is trying to say. And this is an important sentence for you to see. Then you need to optimize your website's nonverbal first impression. So this is basically the post in one website. Up next, I'm a human behavior tracker and I'm going to show you how to use science to optimize your website. Why behavior science? Okay. So it's about first impressions. So we have a, a pretty good idea about what the page is about. 
but we still need to discover if we can just delete it or if we want to redirect it. And the way to do that is to click this little arrow here. So you can see there's 87 backlinks that point to this page. So even though this page doesn't get any traffic, I definitely don't want to lose the value of these backlinks. And if I just delete the page, then all of these backlinks are going to go to four or four pages. So we know that this is a we know that there's value to the page, even though the page itself doesn't generate any traffic. We know about what this this page is. And so then what I did is I go to Google, I type site colon copyblogger.com. So this is a function that you type into Google that basically tells you do a, a Google search, but only do it in this URL. So then the first listing that comes up is six ways to make a good first impression online. Uh, okay, so is this page valuable? This is the page right here. Six simple ways to make a good first impression online. So my next step is I take this URL, I go back to Ahrefs, I search the URL, and then I search for organic keywords. So this way I can find the keywords that this page right here is working for, the page that I'm potentially going to redirect, the page that I'm deleting. Um, so when I look at the keywords, it's it's pretty good actually. What makes a good first impression? You know, you can see that there's still zero volume, but I'm ranking number 26. Same thing here, how to make a good first impression, I'm ranking number 47. So when I look at this, I think to myself, you know what? I can re-optimize this content and I would probably change it to how to make a good first impression for your readers. Um, when I add that variation to the keyword, that makes it more relevant to the people that I'm trying to focus on. So I, I look at this page and I think to myself, okay, you know what? This is a decent page that I can redirect this traffic to. This isn't perfect, you know, because this page still isn't really generating a whole lot of traffic or it's, it's, it's not generating any, any traffic really. But I can see here that I have the potential to rank this page for some relatively um, intent-driven keywords, especially these two. What makes a good first impression? How to make a good first impression? So I'm, I'm not 26 for this keyword, 47 for this keyword. There's potential there. Okay, so I see that I found the page that I want to redirect it to. I found the page that I want to delete. So here's the last step. And this is why I really, really recommend people using the paid version of SEO Yoast because it just makes this, this step so simple. So Yoast SEO is this plugin. It's free. Um, you can get a lot of the functionality of being able to optimize your meta tags through here, but you won't have the functionality that I'm looking for, which is like an, an, an automated redirect tool. So the first thing you do when you, when you decide you want to delete it, you move it to trash. So you click this button right here. When you do, this prompt is going to show up. Yoast SEO Premium detected that you moved a post nonverbal hacks to trash. You can either redirect it to another URL or make it serve 410 content deleted header. So 410, 410 is, is a server error that's different from a 403. 403 means that the page doesn't exist and those are errors that you wanna minimize. Those are bad for your website. 410 still isn't ideal, but at least it's more specific. You're, you're telling Google that I purposely deleted this web page. But ideally, you can redirect the, UR, the URL to another web page because we still want to keep these backlinks. And we want to send these backlinks somewhere else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to redirect it to another URL. Please enter the new URL for nonverbal hacks. So it's right here. There you go. No, that's not the idea. Take the window minimized. Here we go. Pretty sure I want to delete this. You know, I'll just leave it in here for now, but I might have to change this. I might have to get rid of this part. All right. So now it should be a done deal. So to double check, let's go to copyblogger.com slash nonverbal I want to make sure I write it okay and you can see that it redirected perfectly to first impressions so now we're good now I have removed this web page 
this page that is basically worthless to me. It gets absolutely no traffic. It ranks for absolutely no keywords. And, and even the keyword that it would rank for doesn't serve me. It doesn't serve a purpose to me. Now the next step is just to continuously prune all of these pages one by one. You can see there's 47 pages of, of web pages that I, I need to either delete or re-optimize or do something about. This is how you maintain the health of your website. This is going to be extremely beneficial, especially over the, over the course of years and years, because the pages that you do create are just going to be more and more powerful, and it's going to create even more focus to your website. All right, that's all we got. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching this week's issue of my SEO series. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments, and I'll talk to you next week. See you later.